Hey everyone! So I am going to be making my wonderful strawberry hot sauce. This is my third summer in a row making it. I invented it a few summers ago. It was literally my first time ever making hot sauce. I did not consult any recipes. I just winged it and it tasted amazing. And thankfully I took notes, so I've made it every summer since. I'm just going to go over the ingredients with you. So it is, as I'm filming this today, uh, early October and in the Pacific Northwest, strawberry season ends usually, you know, around August. So I'm using frozen strawberries, actually. If you're lucky enough to live in an area where red jalapenos and strawberries seasons overlap, you can use fresh, but frozen strawberries are just fine. So I've got two cups of strawberries here, which I'm going to just defrost in the microwave. And then these are red jalapenos. And you probably won't find these at, at most grocery stores. I don't think I've ever seen red jalapenos at a grocery store. Some people think that these and Fresno chilies are the same thing. I learned recently they are not. It was wild. I learned like, I don't know, three or four months ago, oh, Fresno chilies are just red jalapenos. And then I learned only like a month ago, you know, two months after that, that, oh no, actually that's, that's wrong. Uh, red jalapenos are indeed different from Fresno chilies. Um, so anyway, <laughs> these are red jalapenos. They're just the same as green jalapenos. They've just stayed on the vine until they have ripened into red jalapenos. If you cannot find these at a grocery store, try your farmer's market. And if you can't find them there, uh, you can always, even if you live in an apartment like I do, if this is really important to you, you can grow jalapenos in a pot and just let them mature until they're red. But these are the two main important ingredients in this hot sauce. This is most of what the hot sauce is. Also to make it a hot sauce, we have a quarter cup of white vinegar. I'm not looking to add any flavor flavor from the vinegar, just vinegar, just, you know, the acid, and a little bit of yellow onion. This is an eighth of a yellow onion minced. I'm making a half recipe, by the way, uh, because uh, I still have a little bit of last year's batch of hot sauce left, and I don't want to make too much more. And this is three cloves of garlic minced. Also need a little bit of salt and a little bit of sugar and some water, which we will add later. So this hot sauce comes together pretty quickly. You just need to prep things a little bit. Uh, here I have roughly chopped eight of these red jalapenos. In my recipe, for the full recipe, it says about a dozen. Uh, but as you can see, jalapenos vary in size and these kind of are on the small side. So I don't know how many jalapenos total I will need, but I need a half cup total of puree. So I'm gonna puree these and see what I get. And you may have noticed I have left the ribs and seeds on because uh, jalapenos are very mild. Uh, this is a mild hot sauce and I want as much heat in there as possible. And this is going to get pureed again later. So this doesn't have to be a perfect puree. <laughs> Don't inhale the fumes. Look how beautifully red that is. Okay, and that yielded a half a cup of red jalapeno puree, so that was perfect. Don't even bother cleaning this out. Now I'm going to puree the strawberries. Now again, you want to start with, again, I'm making a half a recipe. You want to start with about two cups of whole strawberries, and we are hoping to get a cup of puree. Eh, close. And that is right on the money. All right, I'm not gonna bother cleaning this out because I'm going to use this same food processor to puree the hot sauce when it is done. Focus. Whoa, wait, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped my camera a while ago and it is weird now. It like has a hard time focusing sometimes and right now is one of those times. Anyway, I've got about a half a teaspoon of neutral oil in this uh, saucepan on medium heat. Just going to saute my onion. You don't want that to brown at all. A little salt help draw out the moisture. Just want to wilt that for a couple minutes. Okay, it's been a couple minutes. They're softened up. Time to add the jalapeno. And again, we just want to saute this a little bit until it's fragrant and softened up a little bit. I'm going to add a little more salt. The recipe uh, in total, at least the full version, calls for half a teaspoon of salt and to taste. Uh, so this half version that I'm making now would call for a quarter teaspoon of salt and to taste. But I like to add the salt as I go. Okay, now we're cooking. I added another splash of oil. And this smells really nice. 
jalapeno, real talk, is one of my favorite hot peppers. I know it's extremely basic and it's quite mild, but I really like the flavor of green and red jalapeno. And this hot sauce uh, is nice and mild. So if you are a spice wimp, or I mean, I'm not a spice wimp, I, I can handle spice, but you know, sometimes it's nice to have just a mild hot sauce. This one is particularly really nice on uh, cheese quesadillas, you know, quesadillas that just have cheese in them, maybe a little cilantro. All right, it's been a couple minutes. I've added the garlic. Just wanna saute this for like a minute or two until fragrant. So a quick note, the recipe calls for a cup of strawberry puree and a cup of water. So I've just added a cup of water to the strawberry puree in this Pyrex container. That was the strawberry puree and the water. And this is a quarter cup of white distilled vinegar and a little more salt. And I'm going to bring this to a simmer and then simmer it very gently, stirring occasionally for an hour. And one last thing that I forgot, uh, I need to add a half a tablespoon of white sugar. So that means one and a half teaspoons. The whole recipe of course is one tablespoon, which is a much more practical and easier measure. I guess this is sort of like um, a sriracha. It's like a sriracha style hot sauce. So if you like sriracha, you might like this, but it definitely tastes of strawberries. And if you're like me and you love strawberries, <laughs> it's a good one. get you in the shot. There you are. Okay, here we are about an hour later and it smells so good. As you can see, the solids like to sort of settle at the bottom especially towards the end of the cooking process when a lot of the water has evaporated. So you do need to stir it even more towards the end of the cooking process. So you're just looking for the right uh, consistency. And this will get a little thicker when we puree it because there are still some chunks. Um, it's a lot easier to reduce uh, water out of a sauce before you've pureed it. After you've pureed a sauce, if you try to reduce it, it will go splurt, splurt, and make a giant mess all over your stove. So <laughs> I don't recommend that. Um, I recommend that you reduce something to your liking before you puree it. Uh, and I do believe this is about what I like. It's always nice to err on the side of more reduced than you think you want because you can always add more water quite easily. But as I said, it's difficult to take water out once you have pureed your sauce. And this is supposed to be a thick hot sauce. You know, I'm going to err on the side of caution and give it just a few more minutes. Okay, it is a few minutes later and it has reduced a little bit more. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and puree this. You see, it's already starting to kind of go splurt, splurt because it's quite thick. And here is our beautiful, luscious hot sauce. This is going to, of course, get thicker when Oof, get in focus camera. This is of course going to get thicker once it is refrigerated. And this will keep refrigerated, uh, like I've kept it in the fridge for a year and it doesn't really go bad. Uh, your results may vary. If I know I'm not gonna use it for a while, I'll keep it in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. But hot sauce is a bit of a natural preservative between the vinegar and the hot chili in there. It will last a little while. So there you go. I hope you make this hot sauce. It is absolutely delicious and a great way to celebrate the late summer with red jalapenos. Bye! Thank you to all of my patrons for making this and other videos possible on my channel. I'd like to give some special thanks to Aditya, Anna, Britta, Crinkum, Data Fox, Gina F, Gina S, Honey Badgers, Jamie, Jenny D, Jocelyn, Katie, Matthew, Morgan, Stacy, Veda, and Vitfafo.